I love making this plastic play pillow. Dun 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 dun. Ooh, new music coming on. Better watch this. Anyways, what? Good stuff. <laughs> Why did you just fall? That's kind of weird, you know. Ah, no. <laughs> you just fell too high. Okay, you need to work on your lap. You need to work on your big lap, okay? I'm just saying. Big sis, you're being mean. Please don't bring out the baby voice. Uh, please, I beg you. <laughs> Mom's still at work. Okay, just get back to your art thing or whatever. Yeah, you just can't. That's what you have to do. Then, oh, wait, wait, wait. Back from the commercial. Yes. Turns out. Hi, huh, this is Barbie News. We have some very terrible news. Ah! Three crooks. Three crooks have. Um, three crooks are trying to find. Picture of the, of the family of, of King Harold who died long ages ago. This is the picture that they're looking for. <gasps> but that's 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 our family picture. What is? Three crooks are gonna come after us. Oh, don't let your imagination get the best of you. No, listen, I'm not kidding. Here, I'll rewind it. You better watch this. Ugh, fine. Yeah. It appears the three crooks are going after the family picture of King Harold. This is the picture. Oh my gosh, it is true. It told you? Now what did I tell you? Uh, exactly! Stay there. <sighs> Seriously, you're putting it under the couch? You have a better plan? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Yeah, it's deep enough. Okay. You stay up here. Okay, good. Point. I'm going to need... TV and you might end up losing the TV. Sorry, I might end up losing my game TV. No, I don't want to lose you. All right. Ooh, we're also gonna need the chairs. Yeah. Okay. A few moments later, dun 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 Alright, now just to get in my hanging spot. Okay, now to wait.
and about two minutes later. All right, I'm on. All right, here's the plan, guys. Mike? Yes, Sir Beatrum? You go in first. No, I mean, you go in second. Miranda? Yes, Sir Beatrum? You go in first. You both get 13, no, yes, 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the next one goes in. And after you, Mike, I go in. If I fail, I'm taking 5% off. And I get 60%. And you two will only get 40 instead of 20. I mean, 20 instead of 25 for you both. You understand? Yes, Sir Beatrum. Yes, Sir Beatrum. All right now. What now? What are you waiting for, Miranda? Go! Idiots. kind of dark in here. Uh. I'm stuck in the window. Uh. No. Try to get that chair. Come on. And yeah. Ah, I just tipped over. The ding! Thirty minutes later. All oh, right, it's been long enough. Mike, you go in now. Okay. <sighs> Gotta think a minute. Meanwhile, meanwhile. All right, lady. Not a peep, or else I'll get this duct tape. And keep it, on, put it on you. But when I say two more times, one more time, and it's on. But there must be no choice. <coughs> Don't make me put some on your ears. Dang. In your ears. You don't want to die down, do you? <laughs> Then just shut up! Dang! Anyway, I'll get back to my hangs. <clears throat> Usually this works in hide and go seek. <laughs> Alright, I'm done thinking. I'm gonna go through the window. No, me the door. I'll just go through the door. Thirty minutes later. Uh, what are those morons doing? During those three minutes, this is what the older sister was planning. All right. So this is how I'm gonna do it. He's probably going to 
come through the door. So, I'm just going to put this there. Yeah, this there. And then, it'll, it'll hit him in the chin, smack him against the wall. And then it'll slip down. And, oh! Hey, sis? Yeah, I need to borrow your purse. They'll get it back. Anyway, if it breaks or if it gets torn up or stolen, I'll buy you a new one. Then, okay, maybe even for your birthday. Oh, eee! okay. All right, and I'll keep this right here just for sa again, just for saving precautions. Ooh, ooh, way better idea. Here and you here and that there and that there. Get you there. And yes, just the way I need it. Let's put that there and the purse on the chair. This is how we do, we do. It's happy. All right. Don't need to wait right here. It's in the dark. Can't see me. I'm right next to those. So I'm right next. I'm right here. Crap, you can't see me. Right below those windows right here. Anyway. What? There's milk on the floor. Oh well, put it right here. Put it in the bread. Okay. Now, wait for the magic to happen. Alright, now. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, so you're gonna try and prank me, or catch me, whatever you want to call it, with the door. Are you serious? Okay, anyway. I'm just gonna knock this over. <clears throat> See, it's that easy. That's easy. Oh, no, you don't think? Oh, that's not what you know. A few moments later. A few minutes later. A few minutes later. And that's the story that you didn't remember of when thieves came to our house. Or, I should say, crooks. I knocked one out with a purse. It was pretty fun. In my mind, I was just like, I was thinking, I'm just an old lady. I'm just an old lady. I was slapping him with a purse. I can't believe I never did it. <gasps> you want to get that feeling back? Slap that pillow! Yeah! <laughs> Guess what happened? The two girls ended up getting five million dollars. They split it, which is the good news. Yeah, they both went on the shopping spree in a more secure house, so they didn't have to do that again. Because the bad news was. The crooks woke up and broke the big sister's leg. So, yeah. She 
you just forgot about, they just both forgot about that part. Hope you liked my story.